All right, this is question one from assignment 14. We have um, a building that is 200 feet tall and someone throws a ball down. So we have that the height of the ball with respect to time will be the initial height, which is 200 feet, minus it's thrown down. I see. So we have an initial velocity of 10 feet per second, but it's directed downward. So it's negative. And our other uh, force is going to be acceleration due to gravity, which is also downward. So we're we're measuring height in a positive direction, so the gravity and the velocity are in the opposite direction. So we have negative one half times 32 feet per second per second, which is the, the English units for gravity. So we get negative 16 t squared minus 10 t plus 200. And they want to know how long it takes for this ball to strike the ground. Well, it's going to strike the ground at an intercept. So I want to find a T, which is the same as an X, intercept. Well, that means I'm going to set this equal to zero and solve for T. And these numbers are not kind numbers, so we have to use the quadratic formula. It looks like we've got a factor of 2 that's common. So let's do that first. Let's divide both sides by 2. And in fact, let's divide by negative 2 to make life easier because that will force the... It won't be the real actual value of A, but it'll give us a quadratic that'll have a positive A. So now we've got 0 is equal to 8 t squared plus 5t minus 100. And that's what we're going to plug into the quadratic formula. So I know that t is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So negative 5 plus or minus 5 squared minus 4 times 8 times negative 100 divided by 2 times 8. Negative 5 plus or minus 25. And let's see, 800 times 4, 8 times 4 is 32. So this is 3200. Yes. Okay. Three, two hundred twenty-five. And that's what we're going to find the square root of, and then divide it by sixteen. Now it's not too hard to look at this uh, function and see that if I let if I use the negative option on the plus or minus sign, I'm going to get a negative answer. And time is the thing that we're finding. So negative time might, might exist theoretically, but, but not practically. So we only need to consider the positive part of the plus or minus it. And we can see that more clearly because A in the denominator here is positive. If A had been negative, we would need to wait. 
to make this determination. Okay, well, let's see. Since I allow y'all to do this, I am going to find the approximate square root of 3,225. And I get that it is 56.8, just run to one decimal place. So this is approximately, and I'm only looking at this plus sign now, only considering the plus sign. Negative 5 plus 58.8 divided by 16. And what is, that'll be 51.8 in the numerator. 51.8 divided by 16 is 22.3. Okay, great. 